Welcome to our lecture online. Let's explore units of length a little bit more and compare the standard MKS units to the Imperial units and the Maritime units. For most of us, this may just be a point of interest because most of us only use the MKS units, but you'd be surprised there's still quite a few places where Imperial units are still being used. Well, going back to length, we remember from the previous video that one picometer was one trillionth of a meter, one times 10 to the minus 12 meters. A nanometer is a thousand picometers. A micrometer is a thousand nanometers. A millimeter is a thousand micrometers. And a meter is a thousand millimeters. That makes the MKS system very easy to use, obviously. And a kilometer, of course, or a kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. Now let's go take a look at the imperial units. Well, it turns out there is a unit called a thou, but it's most commonly known as a mill. A mill is one one thousand of an inch, and so this is actually still used quite a bit in engineering. An inch is a thousand mil. A foot is twelve inches. A yard is three feet, and a yard is almost the size of a meter, just shy of a meter. A chain is 22 yards and a furlong is 10 chains. That makes it 220 yards, which is one half the distance around an imperial track that used to be 440 yards. So one furlong would be half a lap around the track. And even with a 400 meter track, it's slightly more than halfway around the track. A mile, of course, a lot of us know what a mile is, but in terms of furlongs, it is eight furlongs. 8 times an eighth of a mile is, of course, a mile. And then we have what we call a league, which is 3 miles. Now the maritime units, they're even stranger. We have something called a fathom, and that was used for measuring depth as ships were trying to navigate. Uh, places where it wasn't very deep, they would measure the depth of the water in fathoms, which is 6.08 feet. It turns out that in more recent times, they've probably even that out and just called it 6 feet. But technically, a fathom is still 6.08 feet. A cable, which is 100 fathoms, is therefore 608 feet. And a nautical mile, which is 10 cables, is 6,080 feet. Well, in 1970, there was an agreement made where we would have an international nautical mile, which was then defined as 1,852 meters, which is slightly different from the original measure of a nautical mile. That's another video sometime. No, they gotta do twain. No. Yeah. Of special noteworthiness is the term Mark the Twain. Back in the days of the riverboats on the Mississippi River, they had to measure the depth, obviously, because the depth of the river changed with the climate and with the weather and with the tide, depending upon where you were in the river. And they would mark the line that they put down into water to measure the depth. And the second line measured in fathoms was the twain, the second line. Twain meaning the second line, meaning it was two fathoms deep, which was safe for river uh, travel. And so notice that one fathom was about six feet. That means the second line was about 12 feet down, and that's what they were looking for. Now, it turned out the very famous writer Samuel Clements took on the name Mark Twain, from his experience being on riverboats in the Mississippi River. And now we know that that name actually means the second line on a line that measures the depth in fathoms. Two fathoms down was safe for river travel. And we have that as the name for Mark Twain. Very interesting, isn't it? <laughs> it's actually pretty interesting. I know, I remember you telling me that before I had completely forgotten. As many things you've told me before. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Am I still on film? <laughs> I think I'll stop talking now. <laughs> okay, number three. What was it? <laughs> okay. Okay.